Zombie Nation? Well, any game titled that pretty much deserves to be played, doesn't it? But that's not even the title. It's Samurai Zombie Nation, which could be the greatest title ever. I mean, I gotta see what this is about. 1999. What appeared to be a harmless meteorite crashing in the Nevada desert had turned out to be Dark Seed, an evil alien creature with horrible powers. By shooting strange magnetic rays, Dark Seed had turned the helpless nation into zombies and had brought the Statue of Liberty to life to do his dirty work. These rays had also given him control over many deadly weapons, but none were more powerful than the legendary samurai sword Shura. When the great head of the samurai, Namakubi, heard that the sword had fallen into evil hands, he set off immediately for the United States. For only he possessed the strength and knowledge required to recapture the magical sword and free the U.S. from the evil clutches of Dark Seed. Best plot ever! Samurai and zombies, you don't fucking need to say anything else. I'm in! Wait, what in the fuck? What the shit is this? That's not a samurai. Where's this katana sword? This is the severed floating head. I thought this game said that this guy was supposed to be the head of the sa- Oh my god. When the great head of the samurai Namakubi? Oh, that's bullshit, man. Where the fuck are my samurai? Why is there a blimp attacking a giant severed head? I feel profoundly ripped off, you guys. I mean- Look what's going on here. You have a giant orange head trying to save humanity by destroying everything he sees. And he does this by shooting horrible phlegmy death out of his mouth. And I'd really like to know where that's coming from. Well, I guess I wouldn't. And he also kills his opponents at long range with mind bullets. That's telekinesis, Kyle. And apparently, zombies stand on rooftops and fire mortars and machine guns at you. But, you know what? That's not even the most ridiculous part. I'm warming up to it. Check this out. You kick the Statue of Liberty's ass! That's right, Lady Liberty is back and she's pissed. She's a Medusa. And she spits horrible death loogies at you when she's trying to swat you down with her flamethrower torch. And there's no health bar, so you can't see how well or how badly you're doing. You know, whether or not you're dying or whether or not you're killing the Statue of Liberty. And check out the nest of snakes on her head. You think that's a little bit of a Japanese jingoism much? I wonder if they're a little upset about that nuclear bomb thing. Live free or die. I bet you never thought you'd see anything like this in any kind of zombie story where the Statue of Liberty gets up and kicks your ass. Yeah, well, I couldn't beat her, so I just decided to skip to the next level, which is apparently Area 51. So, you know, behold, ladies and gentlemen of the military, I have come to liberate you from the zombie menace. Eat my horrible phlegmy death! So, the way you power up is you rescue zombie hostages, and you do this by blasting them violently out of whatever the building they happen to be holed up in, and then eating them. I I'm sure they're real grateful for that. So anyway, when you eat them, it upgrades your mind bullets. And so then you uh, have to face whatever threats there are. And apparently the zombies, when they were reincarnated as the living dead, they learned how to fly airplanes, drive tanks, attack blimps, and just about everything else under the sun. But that's not the real danger. What you really have to worry about is the fucking lightning. Now everything else, when it hits you, only takes off one, maybe two little skulls. But lightning fucks you up. It takes you down to one hit point no matter what you were at previously. And when that happens, it starts blasting this really annoying Jeopardy music until you eventually get shot by somebody who's, you know, look at the size of you, you're gonna get hit. So, continuing on, there's always some, like, destructible landscape, and when it, you have to destroy the landscape to blow out some zombie hostages so you can eat them. And check this out. I got snakes in my motherfucking game! 
but there's no way to dodge half of this shit. I mean, sometimes stuff just blindsides you from the top of the screen, so there's no safe hiding place. When you touch the water, it actually pulls you down into the snakes. And there's really no way to recover health. I mean, sometimes when you're in critical, you just regenerate, but it, it takes way too long. And get this, I'm, I'm fighting Frogger and Zombie Tom Sawyer on the raft. And Zombie Tom Sawyer can take a shitload of punishment. I'm not kidding, I shot him must maybe 20 times. The fucker didn't go down. I'm eating more zombies, dodging the snakes. And whenever you die, Namakubi, the head, he drops to the bottom of the screen with this kanji crypto character over his head where he's like going, FUCK! I guess that's Japanese for FUCK! And it's game over. You only get a limited number of continues. And so you go on, then you fight other evil samurai zombie heads who shoot other wiggly mind bullets at you while Tom Sawyer takes pot shots at you with his rifle. And isn't that funny? They look just exactly like palette swapped versions of you. That's not lazy or anything. Hey, are you ready for the most ridiculous part of this? I swear to God, you're not. Here it is. Naked Zombie Sean Connery. <laughs> I shit you not, it's Sean Connery, this bald-bearded fuck in his BVDs who throws battle axes at you that kill you in one hit, and all the while he's doing this very gay prancing man dance where he's trying to teabag you, I just don't get it. Oh, this took me forever to beat. I guess I'm just not very good, but every time this axe hits you, or he'll teabag you, and Namakubi goes, FUCK! Uh, it just took me forever, and I was too busy laughing my ass off at his huge muscled body leaping and bounding as he's trying to grease me with his sweaty nutsack. I mean, I really did my best, you guys, I swear. Your best? Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. That's right, I'm not giving up! I'm gonna kick this naked zombie's ass! PUNCH THE KEYS FOR GOD'S SAKES! YES! YES! YOU'RE THE MAN NOW, DOG! HA! <laughs> VICTORY! THAT WAS FOR ZARDOZ, YOU BITCH! And well, that's pretty much it. The goofy meter's broke. Be careful. Something's in here. Don't react too well to bullets. Ugh, my Connery sucks. I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes. We're at an impasse here. Maybe we should compromise.